I don't know about everything I had, I'm just totally empty now. <laughs> I just can't talk. I've never felt more pain in my life. Some people out there on course like, you're three miles ahead, and I was like, I just have to hold on. Then I started to fall apart. My love for Iron Man personally started with this story called The Iron War between Mark Allen and Dave Scott. Dave Scott was already the six-time world champion of Kona Iron Man, which is the hardest Iron Man out there. Mark Allen was this up-and-comer who was the most talented and was meant to win but never could win. It's the most epic story ever. These guys swam shoulder to shoulder, biked shoulder to shoulder, and ran all the way until maybe one or two miles from the finish line at a six-minute flat pace. And I am mind blown by what these guys were able to accomplish. After watching all the video, you're like, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that. And then you're in it, changed my life. And inspired me to do all these other things around the world. Spartan races, Tough Mudders, High Rocks, CrossFit, everything was based off those guys. I want to talk about what's called the fourth discipline. Well, maybe five, but the fourth discipline's gear. The wetsuits that you have to get, these bikes, they look like Ferraris and Lamborghinis. They're expensive aerodynamic, carbon fiber, big disc wheels. I'm assuming the average bike here is above $5,000. And then you're gonna notice these shoes and kits. Like I'm wearing a kit right now, if you look down at my legs, I look like a superhero. These like fancy tri kits that are meant to just go water, straight to the bike, straight to the run. My arms are losing circulation as we're talking. All right, whoo! I weighed five less pounds than I did five minutes ago. Wait, do I really want to do this? It's 556 here. The pros go at 640. The female pros go at 650, I think. And then like age groupers start at seven. And I'll probably just get in the water with the first pack because I'm a beast. I might poop in my suit. You gotta get out of it. You can't poop it. Not yet. You know, these deserts have these crazy contrasts of temperature. You're swinging. 30 plus degrees throughout the day. And I think for people that are unprepared for that, they're gonna crack. You're already gonna be soaking wet to keep warm for probably the first two hours of this bike race. We're just gonna have to crank really, really hard. Your hands are gonna be frozen. It's chilly for a Texas girl. <laughs> How do you think the water feels? A lot colder than this. That was shocking. Cold? The way back, I was like, <laughs> Water. Why? I don't know, the waves are like going Indian. We're just chopping out. We're going to get changed real quick. Yeah. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Ready to roll, baby. Woo. This is where we part ways. Love ya. Good luck. All right. Two, five. First of all, I got buried, like in the first 200 meters, like fully on top. I fully submerged underwater, under a woman. And then like, I got another maybe 800 meters and then I got elbowed. And then like in the same moment, I got elbowed in this goggle and this other guy just clubbed me. Like in two strokes, I got just jacked up. And I was so mad with how I was going. I reared back and like, I tried to hit the guy that just clubbed me because it was hard and I was pissed and I missed. And then as I tried to do that, my right leg, my calf, this is like 24 minutes into the swim or something. I looked at my watch when it happened. It just seized up. My foot was just locked like this. It was just flexed completely. And so for the remainder of the swim up until like 100 or 200 meters from the exit is when it finally like started to loosen. But the whole swim, 
my foot was just dragging like this in the water and just no movement, no kick. But I kind of deserved it. It was karma for trying to punch someone. <laughs> a guy literally pushed me in the chest. I yeah. came over to him and he gets up and just pushed me in the chest. I was like, that, that was aggressive. I got out of the water in 110, which blew my mind. When I got on the bike, I really wanted to hit a five hour because I had made this bet of a really expensive bottle of scotch with my old running coach, Rich Diaz. And I was like, I have to beat this old f And I'm just trucking, so. My only regret has nothing to do with actually the race. It has everything to do with training. Being in this tuck position over time, in between my shoulder blades all the way up to the top of my neck, was so wrecked and the back of my triceps were so wrecked and my hamstrings were stretched from being leaning over like this. I, I've never felt more pain in my life from a bike ride. He just passed 87. It's gnarly. If Kyle beats Hunter, like what's gonna happen to Hunter? Is he he's gonna have to get a real job at McDonald's? Hunter is gonna get a tattoo. He promised Kyle his firstborn child's name. So much is at stake. Right now, at this moment, Kyle is not an Iron Man. He is not. But he will be at 5 p.m. I think he's built different. His dad was an Iron Man. He did the Tempe race. I don't know if it's changed in the past 30 years. Said it was kind of a gnarly one. Oh, wait, that's him. Woohoo! How is he looking? I, I feel like he's hurting, but maybe he's not. He didn't seem as smiley. Granted. I don't think I would be a smiley after 100 plus miles on a bike. He know? didn't blow you a kiss? Yeah, what the f was that? Are you calling Hunter slow? Or maybe he's so f slow. Could be. <laughs> Wait, that's him. Look. Dude, riding on one of those bikes that long was terrible. <laughs> Sorry. I did not account for that at all. I think you would have broken 10 if it wasn't for your bike. I think I just twisted something off, so I was in one gear for a substantial amount of time, which sucked. It totally slowed me down. My bike was like 550. I believe 532? I could have cracked and you could have caught me. I'm not lying. Yeah. I was in a cracking place. Oh yeah, hey, Hunter, Kyle, keep it up, buddies. You guys can do it. Kyle, hurry up. You can get them. Stay with them and cross the finish line together. Thank you, thank you very much. Hunks of burn love out there. Keep it up. All right, man. Woo! Shake it up, baby. Shake it. I'm a hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. All right, hound dog. Keep it up. Detroit City. Woo! All right, man. Mama's coming soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>